Oh! Greetings, society takes us to you all once again. It is either I'm Inspector, and today we have some Nintendo 64 pickups that I would like to show to you guys. Got some really good deals on them. And honestly, these things, if I wanted to, I could make some serious scratch off of them if I decided to sell them. But I got them at Goodwill. And the first one that we have here is a Nintendo 64 uh, little carrying, well, not carrying case, but storage case thingy. And I think there's like three different ones. I think there's like one that carries six, one that carries 12, and another 24 or something like that. But this is the uh, the 12 one. And yeah, there's a little, oh, yeah, I put my games in there and they kind of all fell to the side. Oh, Jesus. But as you can see right there, it's kind of a little loose right there on the bottom. But I ended up getting it for like 5 or $6 at Goodwill. So you definitely can't go wrong with that. And the funny thing is, all the N64 games that I own before I ended up getting these other games I'm about to show in a bit, all of them fit in here. So I already have this thing like completely filled up. So I'm going to have to find somewhere else to end up placing these other ones. But from what I've heard, these things have sold anywhere like for $30 online. I think like the higher up ones, like the 24 ones or whatever, sell for like... 50 or 60 so i could probably end up selling this for a good bit yeah it's a, it's a little if i if i want to which i don't think that i am but if you look on the bottom there a little bit yeah it is kind of broken in some so that would probably end up reducing the price obviously and uh the next ones that we have here is ones that i got from goodwill and the first one that we have here is super smash brothers yeah it's got some some writing on there which is aggravating as all hell but as you can see there this one was 8.98 and yeah, really good deal, especially for this game. And I actually have some problems with these games, as a matter of fact. Uh, I tried them on two different N64s, and it, it seemed like some of them were working and some of them weren't. And I went and cleaned them with alcohol and Q-tips uh, about two or three times. And then I finally took them to a guy that I know, like a local game shop. And he ended up going and cleaning them out really well. And he tested them. And they all seem to be working fine on the N64 that he had there. So hopefully when I give these a go again, I won't have to deal with that problem anymore. Otherwise, maybe I just have to get like a freaking uh, massive Brillo pad or something and just scrub the ever-loving shit out of it. Yeah, I know that's not going to help. I was just making a joke. But, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I have finally came to the conclusion, though, that I'm not going to be buying older cartridge games anymore, regardless of the prices that they are, because of the fact of running into these things and not knowing if they're going to be working properly or not. No matter how much, I, don't, I just don't want to take the time to clean them and go through all that crap and all that. I just I just don't want to do it. So uh, anyways, with that one being to the side, the next one that we have here is Mario Kart 64. I ended up getting that one for $8.98 as well. The next one we have here is Star Fox 64, which was $6.96. And this is probably the main one that I've been having problems with. I know it looks a little, yeah, messed up there. But um, all these other ones seem like they had been working fine. But Star Fox 64 seems like it's just being a little bit of a dick. The next one we have here is Mega Man 64, which was for $7.97. And the last one that we have here is Paper Mario for $9.99. Yeah more writing on there and stickers and all that other shit ah it's aggravating but anyways yeah i was really surprised at the prices that i ended up finding these things because just buying these for the cartridges alone is like much higher than from what i've been seeing than what i ended up paying for the prices of these things so definitely glad to manage to to find these things at goodwill they had a lot of other n64 games there as well like i thought about getting golden eye and getting mario golf but i was like yeah you know I really don't want to bother with it. I'll just go ahead and get these. Golden Eye never really piqued my interest, and I'm not into golf or nothing. But then I found out that somebody on one of these gaming Facebook pages that I'm on actually want to end up buying Mario Golf and Golden Eye. So I went back to go see if they were there, and unfortunately, unfortunately, they weren't. If I'd have known that beforehand, I would have bought them and then sold them to them. But anyways, yeah, definitely glad to to find these. Even though now it seems like they're working okay, as if Star Fox 64 probably needs to be cleaned a bit more thoroughly but the fact of the matter is really good deals but this is just further proving to me that i'm not bothering buying cartridge based in game games anymore uh like from the n64 and older like game boy advance yeah will obviously ds and, and 3ds everything is all peachy keen with that but when it boils down to this other stuff nah i'm not bothering with it to me it's just too much of a hassle and you never really know whether or not it's going to end up working properly no matter how much you end up cleaning it you may have to completely replace it or throw it away or do whatever so yeah but anyways i just want to go ahead and share those and i will go ahead and i will end this like i always do later taters yeah